Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to Half Pint FPV. Right, so as most of you will know, I fail safety into water. My drone was surprisingly okay, but one of the things that was broken was my board. Not to fear, however, Race Flight sent me a Revolt 2 and saved the day. <coughs> if anyone wants to send me some high KV motors, hit me up. Without further ado, on to the review. Thanks to Race Flight for supplying the Revolt 2. Link in description. I'm sure pretty much everyone has now heard of race flight. You guys, apparently there's something called Rasa Fliegde. I think it's a Swedish word. Whether you know them by the products they are producing, such as their flight controllers or 401 ESC stack, or by the firmware they have written and are writing for flight controllers. They also have many of the top pilots flying their firmware, both racers and freestylers, including Schizo and, of course, me. I'll be doing a build video soon, so this is just a review. Anyway, without further ado, let me tell you about my thoughts. Price is often one of the first many consider when buying a flight controller, and often the one that is the immediate purchasing decision aside from firmware. The Revolt is priced competitively to other flight controllers, so it is an even more expensive or cheaper than its counterparts. Well, with that being said, the Revolt has the advantage of being able to support both beta flight and race flight. So, should you decide that race flight is not for you, you can simply flash it with beta flight and go back to as you were. Uh, that kind of brings me on to performance. If you compare flight footage between beta flight and the other two, kissing race flight, you'll likely be able to tell the differences between the three. Right now, I'd put race flight first in terms of smoothness. So far, I've really enjoyed the race flight experience. I'd say if you haven't tried it yet and are looking for a change in what you normally fly, or even just want a better flying experience, then definitely give it a go. There's not really any drawbacks considering, as I said earlier, you can just flash it with beta flight should you just like it. Um, the specs go on as screen. Uh, basically, the Race Flight Revolt 2 flight controller, in my opinion, is one of the most advanced boards ever designed. It's capable of running a 32 kilohertz gyro sample and PID loop, and I tell you mate, it's one pucker board. The Revolt uses a F405 MPU and a super secret gyro ooh, called SSG in combination with Race Flight software to give you some of the best performance possible. It's also super easy to set up, but again, more about that in the build video. The Race Flight Revolt V2 presents not only the good performance, but also some of the most stable footage I've had. Due to their vibration rejection technology implemented in Race Flight, they've done a video already and I'll link it below. In addition to the vibration rejection technology, the SSG gives you the super high speeds, with my opinion, the lowest noise floor and high sensitivity. Apparently, the supersonic gyro that's the SSG has never been used in any other flight controller. Sounds good, huh? Well then, go buy one. Link in description. Again, thanks to Race Flight for supplying the revolt. Link in description. Build video coming soon. Want to send me something to review? Hit my email. It's in the description somewhere. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. It's got lots of kilohertzes. It's got 32 kilohertzes which is more kilohertzes than anybody's had before. I think that's a kind of pickled fish. Is it kilohertz? So you can go buy it. Um, I just bought one. I'm hoping that when it gets here, it's delicious. Um, I've had Swedish fish before. They're pretty good. They're red. This controller is red. That red is the fastest color.